In Roller Pause, you have the ability to configure unique settings on each of your devices to customize its behavior and optimize its performance. To access these settings, log into Roller Pause and navigate to More, Settings, Device. From here, you will see a list of switches you can turn on or off depending on whether you're configuring a cafe pause, ticketing pause, or a pause custom to your needs. In this short video, we'll go through best practice setups for both a cafe pause and a ticketing or entry pause. If you're setting up a cafe pause, commonly used device settings include turn on pause v2, turn on skip capturing new guest details, turn on automatically prompt for modifiers, turn on production docket printing, turn on capture table numbers, turn on auto print receipt, turn on enable discounts. Once these device settings have been saved, when we go to a menu and add our coffee, you can see that we have been automatically prompted to add a modifier. From here, you can also add notes to include the person's name and add a table number, which will all appear on the production docket once printed. We also have the option to add a discount code to the order. When we click pay, I'm not prompted to enter in any guest details, which speeds up the ordering process. Once paid, the receipt will print at the pause and the production docket will automatically print to the cafe or kitchen area. If you're setting up an entry or ticketing pause, we would recommend enabling these key device settings. Enabling pause V2, turn off skip new guest details, turn on auto print receipts, turn on auto check-in on purchase, turn on allow users to undo check-ins, turn on discounts. Once these device settings have been saved, when we select a menu and add a ticket to our cart, then click pay, we're prompted to add in booking holder details before continuing. Once we add the guest details, click save and pay, then complete the tendering process. A receipt will automatically print and the ticket will automatically be checked in. If you need to undo this check-in, you can then select go to booking, then select the ticket and then click undo check-in. For a detailed explanation on all device setting functionality, we recommend reading our related article on configuring your POS device settings.